I'm just saying, bro, once I hit that 10K, right, it was no stopping me from there. That's why you know I had to get that Dark Sage meal at Raising Cane. Like, you know I've been adding them on Instagram all the time. So I, I eventually broke through to them. They saw I hit that 10K. They, they, they gave me the meal. <laughs> they gave me the meal, dog. And trust me, it smacks. Get you a little free sauce. Or you can use my promotional code, Dark Sage, at checkout at Raising Cane's. Get your 10% off your order because, whew, you know that cane sauce be <laughs> smacking. You know what I'm saying? But wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is my sister calling me while I'm on vacation? Dog, I'm about to call you back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, raise the cane. Raise the cane. Chill out, chill out. We can talk later. Hold on, but right now I got to talk to my sister. What? What do you want? I am on vacation right now. You said I got a lot of manga at the crib? Okay, just pick it up. Keep it at your crib. And when I come back to Texas, I'll just come in straight to my crib. And, you know, I might put it on the shelf or something. You said I got to make a video. Look, I ain't got to make a video every time I have a huge haul of manga. I mean, seriously, what do you think... Oh, we, oh, we're, we're broke. You didn't call me to make the video. Oh, well. So, me being on vacation wasted all the YouTube money and budget. And we, uh, we're, I, I, I gotta cut my, my, my trip short. So, I gotta make this video to make that money back. And if they don't like and subscribe, then, you know, I'll be broke. Homeless. In a box. Same box as that my manga came in. In fact, you just said that my, my green screen effect is about to go away right now. Nani? Guys, guys, whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, I was just in, like, Florida. I was just in, like, Panama Beach and all that. What you mean? I, I was just chopping it up with the Florida. That was raising canes on the phone. Let's get started with the video. Gosh, uh, I'm really losing my budget like that? Sheesh. I thought if I hit 10K, I'd be rich by now. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we did it. About a year ago, around this same time, your boy hit 1K. A year later, I hit 10K. I got to thank y'all. I, I, I got to thank y'all because hitting 10K is such a huge milestone in my eyes. The first biggest milestone is obviously 1K because to imagine 1,000 people want to subscribe to me and see the content that I put out, that's amazing. But to hit 1,000 10 times, I'm just thankful. I'm grateful, man. I'm, I put a lot of time, put a lot of work, I put a lot of effort, I put a lot of money into this channel for it to be what it is and to give you guys this great entertainment and, and to just show you guys my collecting experience and my collecting and weeb journey. And I gotta say, I, I highly appreciate you guys. 10,000 people decided to hit that subscribe button for your boy. It means a lot to me. I just want to say thank you to you guys. I highly appreciate it. I don't know what to do for it, but I got to say I highly appreciate hitting this huge milestone. And it's all thanks to you guys. Because obviously, without you guys watching, there wouldn't be a lot of content on this channel to be put out for people to watch. You guys get what I'm saying. That sounds very confusing coming out of my mouth. But I got to say, for real, guys, thank you for this huge milestone that I have hit. Now, let's go ahead and actually get started with the video. What's up, you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here. We are back with another video. And this video right here, <laughs> y'all saw it from the thumbnail. A lot of manga has been bought since my last haul. Now, I bought manga before this haul, in between my last haul and this haul, and in between. But, obviously, I, you know, I couldn't feel that because if I'm just getting one or two books, why am I going to make a video on just one or two books? But... If I get a good amount, I, I thought I might as well share what I've been getting with you guys. Share what I've been planning to read or what I've been watching on Twitch and things like that. If you don't follow me on Twitch, go ahead and follow me on Twitch, Chase the Dark Sage. The link is in the description down below. But guys, it's time for me to show you the haul, the most beautiful haul, because I went to, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six places I have bought manga from. Two were online and the rest were actually in person. But before we get to the video, before we actually get to the manga haul, before I show you all the greatness that's about to happen, on the channel because you guys know <laughs> I reviewed Naruto box set three recently. 
So what does that mean? You guys know I'm a completionist on this channel. If you guys are new to the channel, I gotta let you know that I'm a completionist. So if I, if I start one thing, I gotta finish it off. But <laughs> your boy Dark Sage definitely came up on some manga. But before we get into the video, before we get into all the stuff that I actually got on these hunts and in this haul, I gotta say shout out to my Patreon pledges. Go ahead and financially support the channel. Like I gotta say, I highly appreciate what you guys are doing for me. And you guys do not know how much you actually mean to me. I gotta say, I appreciate what you guys are doing. I gotta give you guys the biggest Dark Sage hug because you guys definitely deserve it. Secondly, I gotta give a shout out to Broke Boy Gang, aka Notification Squad, for coming through to the videos. Y'all see the notification. Y'all see I pop up. Y'all click that bad boy. Y'all see me or y'all see where I post in my community tab. And, and, and if you're not already a part of Broke Boy Gang, you want to, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Hit the post notification bell. That way you know whenever I post newer and dope content or when I post in my community tab. And I need everybody to go ahead, like the video, and share the video. In 2021, I want more of my content to be shared out just so that's free support on your guys' end. And it helps your boy out in the algorithm and things like that. And lastly, guys, if you haven't already or if you are new to the channel, go ahead, follow me on all my social media links. All my links will be in the description down below. These are the places that you can actually reach me at. Twitch, Discord, all that type of stuff in the links in the description down below. So... Let's go ahead and get into it. I didn't want to make my intro too, too long because I know, guys, I know. Y'all Y'all always look at me. Y'all always put in the timestamp. Video starts right here. Fine, I guess I'll just cut my intro short since no one wants to watch it. But, guys, let's go ahead and start off with the haul. I'm going to go through the haul by each store that I went to. And the first store that I went to, well, it's not the first in order. But the first store I'm actually going to show you guys is Books A Million. Now, me and my boy Jerry, we went out to Books A Million and, whew, I wanted to buy manga there so badly. But I was like, mm, we're going to go to Kino Kinea right after this, right? But we didn't end up going to Kino Kinea because plans have changed. But we did go to Books A Million. And let me go ahead and show you guys what I got at Books A Million. First off, we got Fire Force Volume 5. And guys, guys, if you guys be in the Discord, I rank on Fire Force a lot. But I enjoy the series. I'm not saying the series is bad. But it's definitely subpar. It's not even mid. It's like literally right under mid. But I got volume five of Fire Force because I do actually enjoy the show. I do enjoy the action while there is some action. Season two, eh, kind of dwindled. I think season one was way better than season two. But I'm feeling like the story might actually start picking up in season three because things are starting to come into place with all the pillars and things like that. But right here, we got volume five with that boy, Lieutenant Obi. I believe that's how you say his name. I'm not really sure. But Volume 5, the guy with the guns, and he controls the ricocheting and all that stuff. Just watch season 1 and you'll get it. Next things we got up is the latest volumes of Dragon Ball Super with volume 11. This cover is super dope with Goku eating the burger. He looks a little bit like me almost. We got volume 12, the newest volume that came out recently. And I really like these covers. In Dragon Ball Super, I really do like the covers that have been coming out. Toyotaro, this is the one thing that you excel at. I heard your panel link wasn't that great, but this is the one thing that you excel at. And we got volume 10 right here. The start of the Moro arc. That's hard to say. Moro. Moro. Is it Moro or Moro? I don't know. But right here, the latest volumes of Dragon Ball Super. I'm definitely waiting for 13. But right now, I am caught up with all my Dragon Ball Super mangas in fact you could probably see him right there like good little like i just gotta add this bad boy right to the shelf right there on this dragon ball z line that's happening all right here and lastly i got rent a girlfriend volume one if you guys did not know last year on twitch.tv slash chase the dark sage shameless plug i did watch the first season of rent a girlfriend and i highly enjoyed it it's highly spicy so i definitely got to support the show any way that i can by buying the manga right here and I'm going to say right now, Ruka is the best girl because I have read ahead aside from the manga volumes because I read online, but Ruka is the best girl. I'm going to just say that right now. She's a Ruka used to be best girl, but then Ruka, she started showing me, you know, a lot of girlfriend waifu materials, waifu material to be exact. So right here, I got to give Rena girlfriend the buy right here. She's Ruka. You used to be my number one waifu and Rena girlfriend, but then Ruka came and definitely outshined you because you're playing games right now in the manga. So I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys, but she's Ruka on the first volume cover of, of Rent a Girlfriend and that boy, Kazuya, <sighs> looking like a sinner. All right, guys, so after that, after that, we got my local comic book store and I didn't buy too much because obviously they really don't have that many good deals and they really don't be up and up on the manga like that. But I do want to support locally. So I thought I might as well go in there, at least buy two volumes of manga. You know what I'm saying? Because I always go in there and I browse, but I never really buy anything because that didn't really ever interest me, but they did have two volumes that really did interest me. And right here we got Death Note Volume 
five, six, I think it's five, four, I don't know, I don't know, but it's VI basically. I think it's the second to the last one that's actually available in the black edition. This contains volumes 11 through 12. I'm only missing three now that I'm actually upping up on my Death Note black edition. So I kind of want to get the box set of Death Note just to have the box set and the singles because the singles of anything basically looks nice, but this black edition definitely looks nice with this black pages right here. I gotta say, this is definitely dope. Now obviously the inside is not black paging, but Th th this this looks nice because it can't yellow and right here we got volume 8 of Jujutsu Kaisen with the rise of Jujutsu Kaisen and with it just being so hard and so sought after in the manga community right now I might as well just start upping up on it because I I think that a box set is going to come out for Jujutsu Kaisen at one point but not anytime soon because we're obviously only on volume 8 volume 9 should be coming out soon but right here we're just on volume 8 so I thought I might as well pick it up if the box set does come out I'm going to just buy the box set and just sell the singles because you guys know that I do want to review that type of stuff on the channel for you guys right here is volume 8 of Jujutsu Kaisen here goes the back the back kind of bland for Jujutsu Kaze and just bland for Shonen Jump manga but the front is very artistic I, got, I do got to say that the front really does shine when it comes to Jujutsu Kaisen manga next place we went up to is Half Price Books and I didn't expect to really find anything at Half Price Books but me and my boy Jerry thought we might as well go to Half Price Books and no these hunts were not all on the same day this was definitely separated throughout days but you know, I had to find some manga pickups if I'm going to have price books. And I think I found some steals. Right here, I got Food Wars Volume 2. Now, I heard a lot of good things about Food Wars Volume 2. And I heard it's a lot of culture in it but i haven't actually started watching food wars but i heard that it's really good and i never heard anyone say anything bad about food wars and this volume is like 4.99 so what am i really missing out on for paying something for 4.99 you get what i'm saying so i'm not really losing out on much by paying 4.99 for a volume that actually looks pretty good it's in pretty good condition now am i gonna get the whole series i don't know maybe it depends on how i feel about the series because i could always just go and sell this somewhere that's the one thing about manga if i don't like it I can just go sell it somewhere. That's It's just easy like that. And the next thing I bought from Half Price Books was Kakaguri. And I heard that... It gets spicy in this anime. Now, I know this is a Netflix... I believe this is a Netflix-only or Netflix-exclusive anime right now. But I'm waiting to actually watch this one on stream. And I gotta say, once I open this up, because this is Volume 1, I opened this up and I saw the artwork in this bad boy. And this will really capture me, especially since it's Volume 1. It's always nice to get a Volume 1, read, peruse, get your opinions on things like that. But I do want to watch the anime because I heard the anime is pretty good for what it is. So, Kakaguri, Volume 1, and the artwork is fantastic in this bad boy. So, I had to cop it. Now, the next place after Half Price Books, we went to Books A Million, I went to my local comic book store, and I went to Half Price Books. So you know the one place I have to go to for manga in person, and it has to be Barnes & Noble. Now, there was plenty of manga I knew that I needed from Barnes & Nobles, but let's be real, since this buy two, get one free ain't happening anytime soon, why? Because a lot of manga have been selling lately because of the pandemic, so there's no point of them trying to push inventory out when plenty of the inventory is selling at full price. So. I highly doubt <laughs> that a Barnes & Noble buy two, get one free is going to be happening soon. But if it does, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But if it does happen soon, I hope it does because I definitely need that bad boy when it comes to buying more manga. But the one thing that really caught my eye when I went to Barnes & Noble's and I saw my boy Jerry post this in the Discord, I got to appreciate him because right here we got the Omnibus version of Shaman King Volume 1, which includes Volumes 1, 2, and 3. And Shaman King is an anime that's way back then, back during the 4Kids type days, the Fox Box days, whatever this aired on. I've seen a couple of episodes. I know my homie, Chi Block, if you guys know who Chi Block is, you know, he is really into this show. I remember him actually loving this show watching it and i know my boy jerry is recently reading through this series and i wanted to read a little bit of it and i wanted to support because i never really got into shaman king when i was younger but i always seen it on tv or in the mornings but this is volumes one two three of shaman king the omnibus version because they are re-releasing because the old version is out of print i've gotten plenty of the old version out of print but i also have given it to my boy jerry because i know that he wants it Next thing up is volume one of Dead Man Wonderland. I've actually started watching this on my Twitch streams and I've seen a few episodes. I think I'm halfway through the season actually. I know that the season ends off on a cliffhanger because I believe the studio went bankrupt or something like that. So I thought I might as well support the series buy the manga and read the rest of the manga that way when i get to the end of the season i can just continue off in the manga plus the way that the spines look on these bad boys each number like all the odd numbers like one is white and all the even numbers are black so it just definitely looks nice on the shelf i've seen them in person and i was like oh imagine that on my shelf and now i ain't gotta imagine because now i'm about to start getting these bad boys but i do want to watch the anime then right after the anime i do want to read on the manga just to see how the ending goes i also got death note volume five i believe the v is a roman numeral for five i don't know correct me if i'm wrong or i'll probably just look it up after you don't have to correct me but volume five of death note like i said i only need one more which is three and, and sadly it seems like it's out of stock 
everywhere. I looked online, I looked on Amazon, looked on right stuff, looked everywhere. It is out of stock. Obviously, a lot of places are expecting more because this is a newer print of Death Note, and I don't expect it to be selling out to where it's just like a super limited out of print type thing. So I would say I'm gonna be patient, wait till it comes in stock when it's $14.99, because that's the retail price. I'm gonna cop that bad boy because I need this for the collection. I'm only missing one volume to complete my Death Note collection. And the last thing that I got from Barnes Noble is Rent a Girlfriend Volume 2. And like I said earlier, I enjoy the spice in Rent a Girlfriend. And obviously, to me, this is the worst person in Rent a Girlfriend so far. I hate you. But that doesn't make me not want to actually buy this volume because I do want to support the series. Plus, I do want to read ahead because I have been reading a little bit on Twitch. If you want to see the actual Twitch thing where I read ahead, I'll probably link it in the description down below. But I really hate you. Like, why do I have to look at this volume cover? Like, why do you have to be on the volume cover of all covers? But right here is Rena Girlfriend and Kazuya on the back, as usual, looking like a <clears throat> scrub. Now, guys. It's on to the big boys now. This is my online order aspect of the haul right here. This is all the stuff I got in online. And the two places I went to to buy online was Amazon and Simon & Schuster. And ooh, you know when I go to Simon & Schuster, I, I got some heat. I, you know, I got some heat. I'm just telling you right now, I got some heat. But we're going to open up the Amazon one first. So while I wasn't expecting this package to be so small, Amazon, I will say that... um. I'm glad that you came through because this was slated to come on Saturday, but instead it came actually today, which is Friday. And like I said, I did expect this on Amazon, but today it is Friday. And this actually came through USPS, which is weird. But I did get this for $109, so I'm not too mad at it, especially since it retails for about, I believe, $180. Right here, we're going to open the box up, take some of this bubble wrap off. And I expected this, this box to be a little bigger, considering the contents that's in this bad boy. But right here, we got Naruto box set. Volume two. Like I said, guys, earlier, I did review box set three. So you know I gotta open up box set two on the channel. And right here, this contains manga volumes 28 through 48. And hoo-wee, hoo-wee, this bad boy is heat. Now this is probably the smallest manga box set that I do have. This isn't the smallest one I've seen in person, but this is the smallest one I do have. And I expected this one to be a lot bigger, especially with this going over the beginning of Shippuden to I believe somewhere in the pain arc. Basically, I don't know where this actually leaves off now that I think about it. But Naruto, box set volume two, and who I know the box size is hitting it right now, but whoo, this bad boy is clean. You, know, you guys know I gotta review this on the channel. You guys know I gotta open this on the channel for my Dr. Bios. I'm sorry for saying that. I Sometimes I get out of hand and I, I understand that. I sometimes do and I just I just need to... Let me go to the, let me go to the last the last piece of the haul right here. So like I said, I did go to Simon & Schuster and I did order one thing because this volume right here, Dead Man Wonderland Volume 2, I don't know what was happening on the internet, but this bad boy was skyrocketing to above $50 up to almost $100. In fact, I seen some listings for over $100 and I seen people pay over $100 for this bad boy. But Simon & Schuster came through as usual and they said that they had Volume 2 in stock. So guess what? I bought this bad boy with the shipping. It came out to be $16. I know $16 more volume. What's wrong with you, Dark Sage? But, but, but remember, I saw this bad boy on eBay for $50 to $100. I don't mind paying 16 for a single volume if it seems like a volume that's gonna be hard to find. I didn't want to go out of stock with everybody trying to buy it up because this is a sought after volume for Dead Man Volume 2. So I had to definitely get this bad boy because I needed it for the collection. And guys, I wouldn't have felt complete and I really don't want to spend $100 on a single manga volume. Let me know if you guys have spent that much money on a single manga volume. I'm pretty sure most of you have not, but let me know if you have. All right, guys, don't be scared. This is the box right here. The last piece of the haul from Simon & Schuster. Ooh, and I had to get this boy when I saw this bad boy in stock and when I got that little check, you get what I'm saying? Not the stimmy check. <laughs> Not the stimmy check. I didn't spend none of my stimmy check on this money because, you know, you boy, dark baby, 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 I don't like that. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm super broke. Please, please, please pledge to the Patreon. Now nah, I'm just kidding. If you want to pledge to the Patreon, you can if you want. But right here, we got the box from Simon and & Schuster. And hoo-wee. This bad boy is about to look so clean. Look at this bad boy. Look at, look at it. I got to get more and focus on the camera. You know what I'm saying? Let me uh, take that out. That was the invoice. Now it's time to look. Y'all guys already see it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh. Right here, we got Naruto box set one. And oh, all of his gloriousness. And all of his greatness. Oh. 
feels like a fresh, sexy jutsu in the morning. Oh, mm -hmm. no, uh, uh, I'm still on camera. Uh, 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 dang, I ain't got no jutsu to actually teleport away from this. Dang. Did, did I, did I really look as down bad as, as I did in my head? Like, yeah, yeah. Please, please don't comment on that. But right here, we got Naruto box set one, pre-time skip Naruto. Basically, when Naruto's like 12 to 13 years old. And who? this right here is my favorite part of Naruto, the series in itself. And getting the first box set, because I was afraid, guys. I'm not going to... Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, I'm not going to try and complain too much. But why I got this big old scratch right here? And I know I didn't do this, because this was definitely covered. And it was like this on the box. It was like this in the box. So I know I didn't do that scratch, which is, I don't like that. Big Dark Sage don't like that. But I'm not going to complain because on Amazon, I saw when I went to the listing for this, it was out of print. Guys, when I saw that out of print, I, I bought this out of FOMO. I'm not going to lie. This is the one time I did buy out of FOMO because one, I knew I was going to buy it. Two, I used that secret coupon that everybody was going to use, which I'm thinking about making a video on. Three, I was going to get this either way because I, I wanted this. And I really do love Naruto because Naruto is one of those series that I actually grew up with while I was a teenager. So having this box set right here, and this is more of a unique box set, just like the third box set where it stands up tall. But right here, we got Naruto box set volume one right here, which covers volumes one through 27. And hooey. Can't believe I bought all the Naruto box set within a month. <sighs> I feel complete. But guys, that about wraps it up for this manga haul right here. Right here was an insane manga haul. Like, this was a lot of money. This was literally over $300 if you actually calculate all this right here. But with all this manga, I need a new shelf. <laughs> I told you guys I really didn't want to buy too much manga right now because, well, I need a new shelf. And now I literally have to put all this Naruto on the shelf because I can't have all this Naruto on the floor. Unless I can put this Naruto somewhere. No, no, no. I, I cannot put the Naruto right there. But I definitely do need a new shelf, which will probably be off screen. Unless you guys want me to replace this wall right here with another manga shelf let me know in the comments down below if i just had the manga shelf off screen somewhere but guys that's about it for the haul let me know what you think about this haul let me know what your favorite series out of this whole haul was whether it be red or girlfriend mm, the spice naruto kakaguri food wars dead man wonderland just let me know which of these series was your favorite out of all of them i gotta say thank you guys for watching if you are new to the channel and you haven't already go ahead hit that subscribe button hit that post notification bell and i say thank you guys for watching dark sage out peace